So we're on our way to Japan. It's really hot here at the moment. We're excited to escape the deadly Australian summer. So we finally made it to Tokyo! It's freaking cold here. It took us about 16 hours and we only got about 2 hours sleep altogether. But here we are. So our apartment is really convenient. It's actually located 2 stops away from Shinjuku. There's the station! Right there! Check out our cute Airbnb apartment. Elliot, why are you on the bed? Oh, hello there. Now that we've settled in, it's time for the most important thing. Mr. Donut! I think this is known as a traditional Japanese breakfast. We're here today at Harajuku Station and we finally made it to Takeshita Dori. Today we're going to go see the Tokyo Lolitas and go shopping and explore Harajuku. We're at an okonomiyaki restaurant in one of the back streets of Harajuku. None of us actually know how to make okonomiyaki properly. So it's like some kind of like egg thing. The instructions are in terrible English. <laughs> it looks on fire. <laughs> so we went to the Kipot Cafe with Tokyo Lolitas, which is across from the retail Kipot shop in the back streets of Amosasande. All the decor was super cute with teapot lamps on the ceiling and printed wallpaper everywhere. Cheese shaped cheesecake. Keypot biscuit tiramisu. On the way to the bathroom, there's a little hole in the wall with a table for a little mouse. So cute. 
One of the main things that we noticed about shopping in Tokyo is that all of the brand stores are in really dodgy looking buildings, really shady. I don't know how safe I feel going into this building. They're not at all where you would expect them to be. For example, Innocent World in Harajuku is called Innocent Kebabs by Tokyo Lolita.com because it's actually above a kebab shop. The inside of the brand shops is really beautiful with printed wallpaper and cute shop girls that bow to you when you come in. And Unfortunately, we can't show you the inside because that would be violating the sanctity of brand rules. We would never do such a thing. You'll just have to go there yourself one day. We walked through the back streets of Shibuya for 20 minutes through snow, but we finally made it. It's real. It exists. And it's closed. Shopping for Lolita is super fun. Just being able to see all of the stuff that you've seen on the internet, but in real life and, you know, no shipping, so that's great. Some of the girls were really cute and really helpful, like the Kara shop girl especially. It's a shame we can't say the same thing about one of the shop girls in La Foray. <coughs> So from Closet Child, I picked up an Atelier Boz jacket. I also got some socks. Uh, pretty sure they're not used, but we'll see. So, walked into Closet Child Harajuku, dropped $300 straight away. I got the AP Melty Royal Chocolate Bag in Mocha, which I've been looking for for a while. We went to Closet Child Shinjuku. On the mannequin was the Jane Marple Royal Order Mini OP in Ivory, which I just had to get straight away. Um, and just lots of little brand accessories, Mary Magdalene, Meta. Um, also picked up a couple things at Shinjuku Mallory Annex, some Cubot stuff, Jane Marple socks. I had to stop myself from buying every single thing there. Uh... Tomorrow we're gonna go to Akihabara and visit an homemade cafe. And live the weeaboo dream. Stay tuned.